Puerto Rico's population has been going down, mm -hmm. but as we reported today, we've added 37,000 new clients to the bank in what's going on this year. 32,000, 37,000 new Social Security numbers. People have no relationship with the bank. So, and so again, one of the things that's happening in Puerto Rico is that the decline in total population is not proportional to the decline in bank clients. Okay. That goes to the transunion thing I was talking about. So a lot of people who left were not people who were at banks. Mm -hmm. So they weren't banks. The impact is small. Then. The impact is not the same. Now, again, that that doesn't mean going forward is going to be future. So, so I think that we all have to prepare for a smaller Puerto Rico. So that's why I think three big banks, three big local banks plus other players. I mean, we mm -hmm. have Banesco, we have City. I think it's sufficient for the market. Uh, again, the market is going to change, and we're going to see change slowly. So, look at—I think you look at Japan. Japan is an aging country with declining population. It's not gotten poor. So the answer for us as as a society is how do we adopt this demographic reality and try to make the best of it. The best of it would be, if we're smaller, let's be richer. Mm -hmm. That's good for banks, that's good for everybody, obviously. Yeah, you know? yeah. So we need to keep working on reducing poverty, increasing income levels. So I don't mind if we have a three million island population, if we're richer, the if we're, the wealth is more distributed, if we have less crime, if we have, so we need to work on that. And that's gonna, there'll be gonna be some changes. People gonna work longer. For some people that's good, for some people it's bad, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, some people like to work to it. So, so if you take our population, mm -hmm. we need to do what Japan has done. We're gonna have to keep our people working longer, and we're gonna have to keep women in the workforce longer. Those are the both things that Japan has done. So they've been able to maintain their productivity by increasing labor participation in sectors that were lower. We're going to have to do some of the same. And then we're going to have to work on increasing labor participation in general. We have a very, we have a, a, a society that has a 40, or is it 42% labor participation rate? Just think of the economic impact if you could raise that to 50. Mm -hmm. Which is not good. Mm -hmm. If you could raise it to 55, that would do more than the federal funds. That would do more than anything you could do to the society. So we're going to have to, demographics is, it's a challenge, but hopefully we'll, we'll rise to that challenge and make our the population we have much more productive. We have a long way to go. I mean, we have a lot of people that are not working, so mm -hmm. productivity has a long way to go. Um, so that's, that's, my, that's the optimistic side.